We're now going to have a look at how we can use long multiplication to solve multiplication questions with larger numbers. So I'm going to write in my larger number, which is 1,234, and then I'm going to use place value to line up my 16 underneath so that I can do the sum 1,234 multiplied by 16. My first row is going to involve me multiplying this 6 by all of the top numbers. So I'm going to do 4 times 6, 3 times 6, 2 times 6, and 1 times 6. So 4 times 6 is 24. So I've written my 24 like that. 3 times 6 is 18, plus the 2 is 20. And I'm being careful to make sure I line up my answers in the correct place value columns. 2 times 6 is 12, add 2 is 14 and 1 times 6 is 6, plus 1 is 7. I'm going to actually get rid of these numbers that I've carried over so that they don't get in the way of my next calculation. You don't have to do that, but it just makes it a little bit easier. I'm now going to multiply all of the top numbers by this 1. Now because this 1 is worth 10, to show that I'm multiplying the top numbers by 10 in this row, I'm going to place a 0 there. If I was multiplying by a 100's number, I would put two zeros here. But because this 1 is worth 10, I'm just putting one zero to indicate I'm multiplying by 10. So I'm now going to do 4 times 1, which is 4. 3 times 1, which is 3. 2 times 1, which is 2. And 1 times 1, which is 1. I need to be careful to make sure that all of my numbers are lined up in the correct place value columns. I'm now going to use column addition to add together my two answers so that I can complete the calculation. So 4 add 0 equals 4, 0 add 4 equals 4, 4 add 3 equals 7, 7 add 2 equals 9, and I have this 1 over here on its own, which equals 1. I'm going to put a comma in there to make the number easier to answer, so I'm going to count 3 from the unit, 1, 2, 3, and put my comma in there. So 1,234 times 16, is 19,744.